Hello and welcome to Punchline Weeklies. I'm your comic strip critic and this week in comics. In the Pajama Diaries, Jess is lamenting her missed infancy, whereas Amy's was extensively documented. Apparently Jill still gets traumatic flashbacks from it. <laughs> Yikes! No kids for me yet, thanks. In between friends, Susan's daughter Emma convinced her to give yoga a try. Susan, however, seems even grumpier than a child being told to eat their vegetables. It's a cross between entertaining and embarrassing to see Susan like this. In The Amazing Spider-Man, Mary Jane is tailing Spider-Man while he's looking for the Green Goblin, suspicious that Spidey's getting involved with Black Widow. The only thing that I can see, however, are the cab driver's insane, bugged-out eyes. Those are terrifying. In Phoebe and her unicorn, Marigold met a terrifying creature known as... a house cat. To be fair to her, I'm not a huge cat person myself. Terrible allergies will do that to you. Fun fact though, this cat is based off of Dana Simpson's late fuzzball Gladys. In Diamond Lil, one of Lil's pub buddies told her about some of his past dates. Every. Single. One. Was a terrible pun of a name. These are so bad that I'm sure even Stefan Pastis has to be groaning in agony. And in Luann, her art class's final gallery was on display. I'll be honest, Luann's face mask is probably the most comprehensible of the bunch. One guy's pedestal literally had nothing on it. I'm sure his snob of a professor loved it. And now, the question of the week. If you could write a crossover between Pearls Before Swine and Garfield, how would Garfield die? That's... uh... wow, that's uh... That's an oddly dark question to hear from you guys, but, um, I'm gonna go with Death by Croc. No, no, wait, wait, wait. After a long, teasing storyline where the Crocs try their usual convoluted schemes to catch Garfield and fail, and then they fail over and over and over again, and then the Crocs catch him with minimal effort somehow and run off cheering while Rat and Pig look on. Yeah, that'd be fun to see, actually. Leave your questions down in the comments below. Until next time, I'm your comic strip critic. Thanks for watching.